I'm Gordy Tupper. Welcome to Check Around. And boy, what a busy weekend. We just had Canada Day, July 1st, a big party here around the capital city. And it's the July 4th weekend is upon us. You know what I like to do for July 4th? We had all the fireworks on the 1st. It's kind of cool to go down to the Dallas Road waterfront. Can't really see it from here. And you sit there because you know in Port Angeles they're going to set off all the fireworks. And you wait and you wait and you really can't see it from the Victoria waterfront. I've tried a couple of times, so it's like 20 miles away. So anyhow, it's a thought that counts and all the folks over in Washington State have a good fourth, okay? We have a big show coming up. It's kind of like a Langford show today. We're gonna go to GoTime Electric Bikes out in Langford. These are very cool bikes. We're gonna go to the new Capital Iron location. Ditto on that, a very big, shiny store. First thing we're gonna do though, is we're gonna go to Langford and we're gonna meet Celine at NextGen. Hey, we're at Next Gen hearing uh, out in the West Shore location. Celine is with us. We were here before talking about hearing, yes. and uh, I know we, we spoke about a whole bunch of different things, hearing aids and testing and what have you, but yeah. there's so much more. And then it, it dawned on me, what if you protect your hearing in the first place and then you don't need all of that stuff? That, that is a very smart question. Yeah. Um, really? You know, it's the only one I've ever <laughs> asked. <laughs> Uh, yes, we actually, not only do we fit hearing aids and um, amplified devices, but we also um, encourage young adults and just people in general to protect their hearing. Um, so we have some, you know, some uh, devices here that we, they can actually come and uh, purchase. Well, yeah, like um, Western Speedway is just down the road. Yeah. Rock the Shores is going to be down the road the over old, here yes. in a couple of months or yeah. so. Yeah, and I mean, those are both areas that put a huge stress on your little eardrums. I yeah, bet. they do. They do. So, you know, it's really important to make sure that, um, you know, especially at a younger age, that you try to conserve what you have. So mm -hmm. we, we even uh, make musician plugs custom made. So people can come in. We do an impression oh. of their ears yeah. and they can they can actually order musician plugs uh, noise plugs so the musicians and then they would have their uh, little speaker thing in there yeah there's and actually what well, musicians can actually have a device that's, that's attached to them their monitor yeah. um, as well that there's filters so set for people who are listening to music or, or in a band they can actually have the musician plugs with the filters in them so they're different um, different strengths of filters depending on what type of music it is so, yeah. so many different things go on here at Next Gen Hearing. We have like 12 locations uh, all around the island, I understand. We do, yes. yes. And uh, hearing aids, obviously, that's what people are probably going to come in in the first place for, mm -hmm. to have their hearing tested. Yeah. And uh, last time we were in here, you were showing me a hearing aid that's so tiny. And I understand another one, and, and we don't have one here, unfortunately, to, to show. Yeah. But you can, you can link into your iPhone. So yeah. you can have a hearing aid, and uh, you'll hear your iPhone. Yeah, it's actually becoming more exciting for us as consultants because now we can tap into the uh, uh, wireless technology with hearing aids. So um, this one in particular works with the iPhone. Yeah. So you download an app on your iPhone mm -hmm. and that is your remote control. You're, you're able to adjust volume up and down, uh, treble and bass. They can actually stream music through the iPhone and you can stream an I, iPod or podcast. Mm -hmm. um, so GPS, um, anything that, you know, it's it, it, You're so technologically aware you yeah. lost me an iPhone back there somewhere. Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and you get earplugs for kids for going in the water, too, which is we just do. some tiny little thing. Yeah. Well, again, um, this is sort of the, the front end area. I want to go back and uh, check out a little bit more. Well, well, maybe, could we see how somebody's fitted for a hearing aid? Oh, for sure, yeah, we can do that. Okay. Come on down there. Here I am standing here like this. I don't know what that means. We'll be back <laughs> in a couple of seconds. Let's go have a look. <laughs> okay. It's Capital Iron, but not the one you're used to seeing, perhaps. It's Capital Iron in Langford, here on the West Shore. And uh, it's a pretty nice store inside and out. Mike Black, you must be very proud of this. Oh, we're excited, uh, Gord. This is uh, a culmination of uh, six months of hard work by the whole team, and the store looks amazing. It's so much different looking than the store downtown. I mean, this is new and shiny and modern, and the other one, of course, is a classic in the city. Well, that's right. So one of the things we did when we were displaying is we've got uh, pictures, old pictures of 
Capital Iron history in there uh -huh. and some old decorations. And you too. And me. <laughs> well, I'm getting older. <laughs> but at the same time, we've left the fixtures. Uh, we've done a lot of wooden fixtures, and we've left the the, the look very uh, woodsy kind of look to yeah. kind of give it a homey feel. Can we go in and you can tell sure. me a bit more? Holy smokes, it's big inside here, Mike. Uh, this store is enormous. 23,000 square feet, plus uh, we have a 2,500 square foot deck outside. Really? So now the scope of what you have here, is it similar to what's in all the other stores? Uh, very similar. We have a huge uh, housewares department, probably about 85 to 90% size of downtown. Mm -hmm. The same in our clothing area, as well as camping, fishing, marine, almost the same size as downtown. Yep. And we've done the same thing in our barbecue, patio, and uh, hot tub area. And, and and you have uh, barbecue lighters here. That's Look true. at this. I love this. this is <laughs> oh, that thing's loaded. <laughs> yeah. Be careful. I'll stand back. Here, I'll put, it, I'll put it down just in case. So, I mean, uh, it, it's quite the experience coming in here. Unlike the downtown store where you have, what, three or four floors, here everything's spread out on one floor. It's all on one floor, which is really easy uh, for the customers to, uh, to see around, have a look at what they want. And, of course, it's great for the staff. We can look from one end of the store to the other. And i got to be honest with you, it's quite, uh, quite impressive to see uh, the amount of goods that are uh, here on the floor. And I've been in a couple of times on the weekend and uh, the neighborhood seems to be embracing you because it's packed in here all the time. Oh, we're getting phone calls and, and congratulatory messages all the time. So we're really excited to be out here and to be part of the community. As a matter of fact, we will be using our outdoor area, which we can look at later yeah. uh, for community barbecues as we move forward here. That doesn't sound like a bad <laughs> idea at all. So, so you have, like we're in an area of glassware here, kitchenware, yeah. both indoor and outdoor kitchenware. Where I suppose. You have uh, hot tubs, as you mentioned. You have barbecues. Is there anything in here that's different from what you have downtown? Yeah, what we do have is uh, we're in the gas fireplace business, Gordy. That's oh, really? a new for one for us. What brand? Uh, we're Regency Dealer, which okay. is made in BC. Great selection uh, from contemporary to traditional outdoors uh, as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also do fire pits as, uh, in addition to that. So it's well, a full range good. product. Yeah. Not the time of year you would think about uh, fireplaces. However, might be the type of year, time of year you would put your gas fireplace in. Well, that's right. This is the time of year where people start to look at things for a reno, uh -huh. but again, also they have uh, outdoor fire pits. So we can look at summer needs through Regency as well as your winter needs. And of course, you have all the outdoor equipment, camping equipment and, and boots and shoes and everything else. Oh, everything you need for camping. We've got, they say, the tents, backpacks, sleeping bags, uh, outdoor uh, stoves, uh, portable fire pits to take camping with you now with the new rules on, uh, on, yeah. uh, on, on burning. You can't burn yeah, logs out there anymore. Yeah. Well, you know what? I want to come back a little bit later in the show and check out a little bit more of the camping equipment. And maybe outside, too. Sounds like fun, Gordon. Okay. Okay, thanks. Hey, we're out in Langford at Go Time Electric. They got bikes and scooters. Look at this. You don't have to pedal a bike too much. It's electric. You got to check these out. Oh! <laughs> Paul, I love this. Great. Wow, Go Time Electric bikes that you don't have to pedal. Well, not too much. You can pedal them too, can't right, you? Right, right. It would just be lazy not to pedal them. Well, it's a handy commuting device for sure. <laughs> oh, sure. Thanks, Katie. You have bike jockeys here too. That's yes, cool. yes. So what's the deal? All the bikes, all the vehicles we see in the showroom here, they're all electric powered? Yes, everything is uh, electric powered or electric assisted. Mm -hmm. um, we primarily uh, focus on two wheel transportation. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, lot, a wide range of brand name electric bicycles yep. as well as electric scooters. Mm -hmm. Now, you have one here, which, which I'm sort of in love with. This one you can put in your trunk, take to wherever you're going, and yes, then hop can. on and ride away. Yes, you can. I was just demonstrating to somebody how uh, portable these bikes become. This is a fully electric bike. The battery's in it, charged up, ready to go. And it's simple as just popping it together, <laughs> like now, so. Now, um, whoa. <laughs> make sure you lock the handlebars yes, before you go. Yeah. Now, the thing here, for people who aren't familiar with these, what makes it go? What, you know, because it just looks like a regular bike. Well, there's two type of electric motors in electric bicycles and scooters. Uh -huh. This is the most common called a rear hub motor. So there's a motor right in there. That's correct. If you see here, we have a conversion kit for existing bicycles. Oh. The, here's the motor. Here's the little computer or the controller, and then here's the battery pack. Oh, so so um, you could do a conversion, probably not terribly easy, I'm thinking, but and make your own bike operate this. That's way. correct. Yes, oh. um, it's been a proven. Uh, 
um, technology yep. that's transferable to almost any bicycle. Okay, yeah. and and the, the bikes range from, well this is a smaller one designed that way to fold up, uh, up to larger bikes and then you have electric scooters too for people who want to be well, just a little more comfortable and that's right. look, look a little more like a hipster perhaps. Well I don't know if it's look so much as a level of comfort because we have a lot of long range commuters Yes. Uh, and a lot of them are traveling late at night and they like the more visible lighting and stuff so uh, there's definitely a difference. If you ride your bike now you're probably going to buy an electric bicycle. If you haven't ridden your bike in a year or so don't even own a bike you're probably going to go for a scooter. You get quite a stock here too I mean a, a huge selection I mean it's not just one or two there's a number of different styles even colors to choose from. That's right and the reason why is because uh, what's right for you it might not be right for me or for someone else so we, we like to offer a good uh, variety of quality vehicles to suit the rider so they're out there happy and enjoying the ride. Go time electric bikes and scooters. That's us. And now right next door, you yes. have something for the more testosterone-y type people, your motorsport division. That's right, that's where we started, was uh, the motorsports and the electric grew from that onto its own entity. Can I take my bike helmet off and we'll go have a look at that? Yeah, let's go power up. A little later in the show. Hey, we're back at Next Gen Hearing, and uh, we've been talking about hearing aids, uh, ways to protect your hearing, and what have you, Celine. Yes. What's going on here? So what we're doing here is we're actually fitting a hearing aid, and one of the steps that we need to make sure of is that the hearing aid is working to specifications. Okay. So and now this is after you've determined what type of hearing aid you want. I yes, suppose. exactly. Yeah. So now this is the fitting, and what we need to do is we actually enter the hearing loss into this machine here mm -hmm. uh, for each ear, and it runs a it runs a test to ensure that it's like a verification test. That's the graph up there, we see. Yeah, it's the graph there. Yeah, yeah it's the right ear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now Sue is just. Just uh, doing a test to make sure that she's verifying the hearing aid is, is working properly for the person's uh, prescription. Okay. So, mm -hmm. now, now this gets uh, fitted on here and tested and what have you, but, but what happens if uh, uh, two or three weeks down the road suddenly go, oh, this isn't working for me? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. We, we ha after the fitting, we normally will monitor the person very closely. So, mm -hmm. we usually schedule a week to two week appointment after the fitting mm -hmm. just to make sure and follow up that uh, the sound quality is comfortable for uh, the client, um, if they have any concerns or, or questions that we can cover that. Uh, so we can do fine tuning to the hearing aids, which yeah. is wonderful, yep. Yeah. So if the hearing changes along the way, we just retest their hearing, we do another test, verification test, and we can reprogram the hearing aids. So. Okay. Mike, can you hear me? I can. Okay. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I don't need to yell now, do you? <laughs> which is kind of a rude thing to do anyhow, I'm sure. So the uh, pricing starts from where, where, six something? So again, $695 uh -huh. is the, our economy hearing aid, and it can go all the way up to over $3,000 each. Okay. Yeah. And, and uh, as expensive or inexpensive as it may sound, you do guarantee the price in town, I understand. Yes, yes, yeah. we, we do. Actually, we have a price matching guarantee, but we, we also better it by um, um, reimbursing 15% of the difference oh. in the cost that they bring in. And you have a monthly draw. Yes, we do. Thank yeah, you. we have a monthly draw for a $5,000 hearing aid. So um, anyone who comes in for a hearing test and is uh, eligible um, and a candidate for hearing aids mm -hmm. um, can be is entered into the draw. And one yeah. more thing, uh, if people are coming back for a new hearing aid, they can bring their old one in. Yes. And yeah. the aid we is encourage. donated. Yeah, we encourage that. There's a lot of hearing aids sitting in drawers at home. Mm -hmm. So we encourage people to bring their hearing aids in and uh, when they donate them, they actually are refurbished. We donate them to children in Africa and uh -huh. Inuit children, and they also receive a solar-powered uh, battery charger. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. I love you guys. Okay. <laughs> Thank so you. So it's Next Gen Hearing, 12 yes. locations all around Vancouver yeah. Island. Yeah. Uh, probably easy enough to find just by uh, Googling you guys. Yeah, we have a website. website. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So all the information's there, so pretty easy to get through the website. Mm -hmm. We're, we've made it user-friendly. User-friendly yeah. is always the way to go. That's right. Celine, thank you very much for this. Mike, thank you for being such a great model, too. <laughs> He's so quiet. Thanks, you guys. Okay. Okay, thank you.
Welcome back to Capital Iron. West Shore, yes, West Shore. Where exactly are we, Mike? We're on uh, Langford Parkway. Okay, so it's pretty easy to find. It's where all those businesses and right next to the new quality foods that's opening and everything. That's correct. And then another couple hard yards past that, you've got the uh, the West Hills Arena and the uh, rugby fields. Yeah. Yeah, so and easy to find. Stuff's going on out here. Stuff's going on. We're happy to be I here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're camping. We're camping, yeah. Camping is like a big deal for Capital Iron. Outdoor, you know, getting outdoors and... I gather there's nothing you don't have for getting outdoors. Just about. I mean, you can get your tent, you can get your sleeping bag, your portable campfire. We might even make some s'mores at the end of the show if you stick around. <laughs> really? Uh, picnic table, hammocks, walking sticks. You sell you the picnic table too? Yeah, we sell the picnic <laughs> table too. <laughs> wow, so, so everything in here you can take with you. Well, maybe yeah. not the picnic table, but out into the woods. Yeah, there's your cool uh, stove. camping stoves up this uh, direction here, your uh, flatware, your cookware. Uh -huh. um, you've got all kinds of neat things. Things. Over here we have emergency uh, preparedness kits. A lot of talk about that these yeah. days, and, and this sort of makes it easy, and that's what people are looking for is easy. Come in, pick up your emergency kit, and you've got it. It's all ready to go, and actually the, the one on the end uh, doubles as your honey pot as well. Okay. After you take your stuff out of it. Okay. Well, we didn't have to go there exactly, <laughs> but but then once you're outdoors, you have, you have kayaks up there, you've yeah. got uh, yeah. inflatable boats, uh, backpacks. Just about, you know, I, again, I guess what I'm struck by here at West Shore is uh, the scope, the size of this facility. It is enormous. Well, that's, a, again, what we we're going for. With the community out here and, and the need that we saw, uh -huh. we wanted to make sure that we didn't come up short on the product for, for, for the area. So Well, you certainly yeah. didn't. Yeah. And uh, if you're heading down to Langford Lake uh, or, or anywhere, yeah. I suppose. Anywhere, you can man, pull you a little fish little, along, do a little fish along. Yeah. Like and uh, just while you're thinking, that bear is not real, in case you're wondering over there. I'll six foot of him. Oh yeah. yeah, there's a big bear over there. <laughs> Honest. He's not, he's not on the payroll. <laughs> he's not on the payroll. Well, you know, we're right in the way of people doing business right here. So I'm thinking, you said there's a, a patio somewhere out in the sunshine. Yeah, Can let's we, go have a look. I'll oh, show you there. Okay. Hey, Mike, this is way more than just a patio. I mean, this is more like a home out here. It's ready to move into. Yeah, I felt like I should live out here myself. Well, I'm wondering if you do that during the day, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got the fountain over there. You've got a whole kitchen with a, a beautiful conversation pit. Yeah. Uh, this is pretty swanky, I'll tell you. Well, you know, we've tried to hit, uh, you know, what we think the, the neighborhood could use. There's uh, little bistro sets. Mm -hmm. There's full chat sets. There's dining sets. And there's a full price range. So we're really trying to you know, hit the, the, uh, the market for everybody. Uh, some great umbrellas. Uh, well, hey, garden plots, you name it. I mean, we're trying to take care of the outdoors for our customers in, in, in the West Shore. Well, outdoors is sort of what you're all about. I mean, obviously you have a lot of things for the indoors too. Yep. You were showing us the fireplaces inside yep. and uh, the hot tubs, which I could see a hot tub. Actually, I can't see a hot tub. Yeah, it's here. right in there. <laughs> <laughs> but this is set up perfectly. Well, well, let's yeah, relax here and, sure. uh, and talk about stuff in general. You got the store downtown, of course. You have this brand new store here in West Shore. You have the other store out in Sydney near where I live. Uh, you guys are everywhere. Yeah, and who knows, maybe next year we'll be up island as well. Ooh, are you giving away secrets? No, not at this point. <laughs> okay, Capital Iron here in West Shore, uh, come out and sit on the deck. It's pretty nice. Uh, do you have rain umbrellas too? Uh, we don't like to sell them, but we have them. <laughs>
you have a full line of motorsports. Like you have you have bikes, you have quads. Uh, I don't know what else do you have actually. Oh, we have even uh, we have things for little kids right yeah. up to the big kids. Well, yeah, you have you have off-road bikes that uh, look like they're made for some pretty small kids. Yes, uh, we have uh, starting for little training guys with a parental remote, mm -hmm. as well as you have a governor on there to oh. reduce their speed, so it works out pretty good. That's a good idea. Show me some of the other stuff over here. Sure. Because uh, who's a? I, I didn't know who my buddy was in there. He, he didn't have much to say. Uh, we call her Tammy. Oh, her. Uh, basically, oh. she keeps people off the vehicles uh, from scratching them and, and taking off on them. Oh, okay, I understand that. Uh, this one's a High Soon 800 uh, CC electronic fuel ignition, Holy power smoke. steering. Get so, out. Oh yeah, she flies this, so this one. Is like four the by four. Rolls yeah. Royce of quads. Is it's right. Right up there, it's top of the line, and it comes with a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty, one year. Really? Uh, parts and labor. This is this would be for dad yeah. for Father's Day or for you know his birthday. That's this right. one's for the kids. Uh -huh. This is a 200 cc one for the kids. Yep. This is a 250 cc off-road dirt bikes, one of our best sellers. Okay. Um, really reliable quiet but powerful dirt bike. There's not much you don't have. I mean, between the two shops here, you have the electric bikes, which I think are very cool, and I think people are going to be screaming out here to get a hold of those, because right. they're just such a great idea. But then you have all the motorized ones, too, which, different category for different purposes. Yes. Uh, this is, uh, it should be called Fun Time. Yes, I agree. Well, <laughs> There we, isn't another company called that, is there? Okay. Well, we actually call people, when they test ride it, we call it the Go Time Smile, and even you had it when you were riding the electric well, and drive this. You can't not smile when you're doing Right, that. and that was our goal was to make sure that we have fun what we do and, and really have, make sure that it's for go time fun. Yeah. And that's what we sell is fun. The other thing, just quickly, yes. I saw some tents. Yes. You have the upper level tents. What the heck are those? Those are rooftop tents. They go on any vehicle that has some roof racks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Man, <laughs> rooftop tents. Paul, you really do have everything. Uh, and I really love this. Uh, would this be suitable for me or? Uh, I think there's a weight restriction on that one, Gordy. Oh. Well, we've sort of gone past that already then, I think. <laughs> so you have electrics next door, all yes. the electric bikes and scooters. You That's have right. the motor division over here. Yes. And you're located where exactly? On the corner of Goldstream Avenue and Lee Road in the West Shore. So you can take the Lee Road interchange off the highway now. Bang, you're here. Yes, you can. Paul, thank you very much for this. Thank you, Gordy. You're Thanks sure for there's coming a weight out. restriction? Uh, yes, I think we'll get you back on the bigger one.